Now let me just say, I absolutely love throwing big baits on heavy tackle and trying to catch big fish. I think most anglers would agree that that's a lot of fun. But over the last couple of years, I have thoroughly been enjoying fishing with this. This is an ultralight rod reel setup paired up with a tiny little lure and light line. And let me just say, this combination is absolutely amazing. And today in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you may wanna pick one of these up for yourself. Just for clarification, these are not suspenders. I'm just wearing a GoPro chest mount. There you go. Right by the bank, boys. Ooh, good one. Boom, guys, check that out. Beautiful small mouth right there. Nice little gut on it. I absolutely love catching these fish. They fight so hard, and on an ultralight rod and reel, it just makes it all that better. Good start to the day. Reason number one. Ultralight rod and reels are usually a lot more compact and lighter than traditional fishing gear. So if you're doing a lot of hiking back in the woods, or if you're navigating rough terrain, trying to get to that secret fishing spot, a light little setup like this can make it a whole lot easier. So let me go over my current setup right here. I am rolling with a Laser SH IM6 Endurance by Speedstick. That's a mouthful. This is a five foot six ultralight fast action rod. The reel is a Fluger President. I don't know what size this is, but it's their tiniest version of the Fluger President. And I paired that up with Euro Tackle Micro Braid right here. This stuff is magical. You can cast so far. The second reason why I love fishing with an ultralight rod and reel setup is because it allows me to throw small baits very, very far. I am easily able to cache this tiny jig clear across this creek right here, and that's gonna allow me to cover water a lot more thoroughly and in turn, help me catch more fish. Another nice little bronze back on the ultralight rod and reel. So much fun. Third reason why you should buy an ultralight rod and reel setup is you get to throw smaller baits and fish smaller lures more effectively. And this actually opens up a whole new world. Take for example, this little cotton cordell crankbait right here. It's a really cool little bait. It's got a great action in the water. But if you would try to throw this with a regular rod and reel setup, you'd maybe only be able to cast this a couple of yards because it's so light. Well, when you pair this up with an ultralight rod and reel setup, it totally changes the game. And again, it allows you to fish smaller, petite lures like this way more effectively. These are the two baits that I've been using quite a bit today. Uh, this is the B-Vibe by Euro Tackle, and this is the Fat Assassin by Euro Tackle as well. These two baits are absolutely fantastic. Paired up with a Euro Tackle Tungsten Jig Head and Light Line, these little baits are absolutely magical, and a lot of times they catch fish when nothing else can. The third reason why you should pick up an ultralight rod and reel setup is because it can help you catch fish in more pressured scenarios. I am currently fishing the spillway right here and this is not an obscure spot. There's really good parking right over there and there's really easy access to this area so it gets fished quite a bit. And yet I'm still able to come out here with this setup and catch fish in this pressured environment. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a line over the edge of this thing. Right in that little pocket right there. Got him. <laughs> Just like that, boys and girls. Feels good. Boom, another nice little smallmouth right there. That fat assassin is down its gullet. They are loving this thing today. There's another one. Not a smallmouth, but a cool little rock bass right there. Love the red eyes. There we go. We'll go a little fighter. Ooh, he's. He jumping. Absolutely engulfed that little fat assassin. Man, they are loving this bait today. Boom, another nice smallie. So case in point, another angler just rolled up right below me and he has a bait caster and he's throwing some bigger baits. I saw him throwing a spinner bait and a bigger stick bait. Now there's nothing wrong with throwing those baits, but a lot of times when you're fishing a more pressured environment like this place, the fish have seen those lures a hundred times. So switching up to something a little bit different, such as this finesse grub right here, Throwing it on light line, that's gonna present something new to the fish and in turn will help you get more bites. It's a common rule of thumb that when you're fishing for skittish pressured fish, it's a good idea to downsize to lighter line and a smaller bait. And that's why I love fishing with an ultralight rod and reel setup is because you're always presenting 
a more finesse option to the fish. And on a day like today, it can make all the difference. Bada boom, bada bing, boys. It's like clockwork, man. They're absolutely hammering this jig. All right, guys, I wanna take a minute and show you where I'm pulling these fish out of. As you can see, there's a lot of water moving through this spillway and it can be kind of overwhelming to know where to throw. But if you look right there, you can see a little pocket of water and it's kind of a back eddy. So the water actually swirls back on itself and the current's not nearly as strong. That little pocket right there is where most of my fish are coming out of. It's subtle, but a little back eddy like that can hold a lot of fish. And reason number five, why you need to start fishing with an old slate rod and reel setup, it's a ton of fun. I had an absolute blast today catching smallmouth with the ultralight rod and reel setup. And that's the beauty about using a little rig like this is the fact that even though you may be catching small fish, they still fight so hard. You can catch a bluegill, a creek chub, a crappie, or even a smallmouth on the ultralight rig and it will feel amazing and it's so much fun. Now, obviously an ultralight is not a substitute for heavier gear. If I'm fishing for bigger fish, I will use heavier gear. But if I'm fishing small creeks, rivers, skinny bodies, of water, it is so nice to break out the ultralight. And I find that in a lot of scenarios, it actually helps me catch more fish. I'll even use it in lakes too, if the lakes are pressured. Don't think just because you're throwing small baits on a light setup that you're not gonna catch big fish. I've caught my personal best smallmouth bass with that little setup. So if you know how to fight a fish and you have your drag set accordingly, you can land some huge fish on an ultralight. And that makes it even more fun. Again, thanks so much to EuroTackle for sponsoring this video. Use my code Brendan Miller right here to get 10% off your purchase. Um, I was using the Fat Assassin today and the B-Vibe, and those two baits alone caught me all my fish today. So EuroTackle claiming clutch, and I'm thankful to them for supporting the channel. So check them out in a link in the video description. Again, thanks so much for watching this video, and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.